Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all are staying safe, which is really important at this point of time. So take care of yourself and stay indoors. Also, I'll make sure to post videos regularly, so please stay connected. Now, let's get into the video. Today, I'll be showing you how to do a balcony or a terrace pond. For this, you need a huge planter like this. I bought this in a nursery nearby for 1800 rupees. It's a concrete planter. Then get your plants ready. I have two water lilies and floating plants that is water spangles and water lettuce here. Also some uh, rocks or pebbles. I'll show you one example on how I prepared my plants. I did the same for the water lilies. So as soon as you buy or collect the plants, plant them in their respective planters or containers and fill it with water and let aside for at least 12 hours so that the water becomes clear the next day. Also the soil becomes little bit firm. Then you can drain this water. This step will prevent a muddy pool. Once done with that step, then top the soil with some rocks or pebbles. Do not suffocate the plants with heavier ones. Use medium sized ones in the edges and lighter ones in the center. I do this step because sometimes fishes do play or I don't know if it's because of fear or anxiety they just start digging the soil. Then obviously it becomes muddier. So it's better not to skip this step. I have some broken tiles here so I'm just using it. You can also use rocks or small pebbles or leave it as it is and then keep the planter and fill it with water. I like to do one thing here that is to fill the water till it gets into the planter and stop it and let it rest for another one hour. I'm doing this because as you can see it's slightly becoming muddy but if it rests well everything will settle down and becomes clear. If you skip this step or the one before the pond will become a muddy pool. But do remember even if you skip these two steps the pond will become clear in a day or two but these steps just ensures you to witness a clear and beautiful looking pond immediately. After one hour, fill the rest and introduce the fishes to the pond. Here I have koi and a few guppies. Here I am adding water lettuce and water spangles. These are the floating plants. It is done and it's a pure bliss to watch the fishes and the plants. It is said that watching fishes swim can minimize your stress levels and blood pressure and make you calm. So it is a must try DIY garden project. About pond maintenance, remove any dried leaves, decayed flowers regularly. Also, do not crowd the pond with all the plants. Make sure to leave some space always because uh, that will be good for the fishes too. The floating plants do multiply fast so you can keep some and discard the rest. Also, at times do refill the water if you find it has been reduced. 
Uh, do not worry about the mosquitoes or any other insects because uh, the fishes will take care of them and keep the water clean. It's just because of the algae the water turns greenish but that's not harmful to the fishes as well. About fishes, I personally like koi fishes because they fit well in the pond. Also guppies do fit well but the fact about guppies is that they multiply very fast. So uh, they can become crowded over time. You can change the water once in every two to three months. I hope you all like the video. Also, please check the description for some more information which I thought might help you. So please do check it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the small bell if you like to get notifications for my future videos. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys. Bye.